Hey everyone, Mike with Handcrafted Travel here. I just arrived in Hong Kong <clears throat> and I'm just, I've been in aviation my, probably my, most of my entire life. And uh, it's kind of ironic the things that are happening now with this COVID-19. <clears throat> my company deadheaded me on the airlines to Hong Kong, just barely. And I was surprised to see how few there were in the airplanes how many airplanes are parked and uh, just all in all the economic ramifications are going to happen with this COVID-19 thing. I have a little video I'm going to show now <clears throat> from arriving into Hong Kong, how, how international travel has come to such a screaming halt. You guys will never believe this. Hong Kong airport. <laughs> Middle of rush hour morning. Dead. Not a soul. Of course, it doesn't recognize my face. Yeah. So, just Michael the handcraft to travel, trying to get around the world. So, after seeing that, I'm kind of concerned for my fellow aviators, both in the professional aviation world and the GA world, for what what economically could be coming. Hopefully, it's a not a major deal and there's a quick recovery. I'd like to see things keep going as they were and and not a lot of people hurt and uh, out of business and stuff like that. But <clears throat> on the bright side, I'm about 80% done with the uh, elevators and I'll show some uh, video here of that being finished up. And if uh, any of you are in uh, uh, concerned about the upcoming future, I think we all are, and I hope everything works out well for everyone and a uh, uh, quick recovery, and we're doing much better. But uh, love the love your family and the ones you're around, and hold on to what you have, and and thank God for what what we do have, and hopefully it gets better. I'll keep everybody in uh, my prayers, and I hope you enjoy a little bit of build I did the last couple of weeks while I was home. We'll, we'll be talking to y'all soon.
so I'm, what I did is the outboard nut plate on the elevator, I neglected to install when it was in the plans, which is several steps before. So when I got to the point where I'm about ready to finish closing this up, and put the fuel tank still in on the back, the styrofoam roots in, and the trailing edge piece, I, I realized I had those parts sitting underneath my bench. I'm like, ah, crap. So what I did, and this came from an idea from when I used to work in a repair shop. I was the guy who would go out and have to drill out all the rivets when we were going to do a bunch of sheet metal work. So what it is, I drilled out the rivets. Well, I took this off. This is the uh, tip. The, uh, the weight that the weights go on. I drilled out enough rivets that I could get to this outboard nut plate area. These rivets on the uh, rib I'm going to have to put back in using a bucking bar and a rivet hammer. But all the rest are on the outside and I can just put those back in. Hopefully I have enough extra rivets. This is not going to cause a rivet deficiency later, but we're going to find out. So, once I get these last couple of rivets on, this last rivet, this nut plate is then installed, and my error has been fixed without too much consternation. Nut plate install. I just need to put the rivets back on the top skin here and reinstall the tip. Well, I'll do the back with that long bucking bar first. Reinstall the tip and reinstall these rivets. And my air is fixed. So, this is the first major, oh my crap, of the airplane. So, I'll let y'all know, for better or for worse.